Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. On today's show, we're going to do a complete engine bay detail. So I'm going to teach you how to do this the simple and easy way. You're going to see all the tools, equipment and products that you need to do a good job. And here for the demo vehicle, we have an SUV that has over 63,000 miles on it or 100,000 kilometers. It's a daily driver and the engine bay has never been detailed. So let's go ahead and start the show. So hey guys, I'm Pan, welcome back to all my regular viewers, and for all of you for whom it's the first time that you watch one of my videos, I highly recommend that you click the subscribe button, that way you'll subscribe to my channel and never miss my future videos. So today we're going to talk about how to do a proper engine bay detail. It's not that complicated if you know what you're doing, so in my over 20 years of car detailing experience, I've learned lots of tips and tricks that I'm going to pass on to you guys. So first of all, the demo vehicle today is a Mazda CX-5 SUV, it's a 2014 model, has over 63,000 miles on it or 100,000 kilometers. It's a daily driver. It's been through our harsh Canadian winters, so you can imagine how that must be. As you can see, the engine is super dirty, super greasy, so we're going to go ahead and take care of all of this. First of all, let me start by introducing what products we're going to need. It's super simple. Essentially, I have a selection of two degreasers that I like, so super clean, which I diluted three to one in a spray bottle. We have the classic Meguiar's super degreaser, which I diluted four to one. We have a spray shine and protection for the end to give it that nicely detailed look from Chemical Guys, black on black. We have an air blower, so in this case, the Metrovac Air Force Blaster Sidekick. I also have the bigger brother, the Metrovac Master Blaster Revolution. So we have the uh, easy detail brush to get into the nooks and crannies. We have this wheel and lug nut brush. We have these mother's brushes, so flag tip again, super gentle. This bigger one is for the fenders, but great for reaching areas such as the hood. And of course, we have a microfiber towel, so that's pretty much all you need. And by the way, I'll link all the products and equipment in the description down below for you guys to check them out. So before we go ahead and start doing the work, let me give you some important tips. First of all, if you can, do the work in a garage, or if you have to do it outside, choose a cloudy day like today, which is perfect, because you don't want the sun drying the products while you're using them. Also, make sure that you do the work on a cold engine bay or slightly hot. If you just drove your vehicle, let the engine bay cool down for at least an hour before doing the work because, again, you don't want your products to dry up while you're using them. That's super important. If you have some fragile items or some delicate electronics, you want to cover those up with a plastic bag. Same thing if you have a modified vehicle with maybe a cold air intake, you want to cover the filter up because you're going to be using water in the engine bay. I personally use a garden hose to spray, but you can also use a pressure washer if you want. Just keep the setting on low because you don't want to directly add pressure to any of the electronics in there. By the way, guys, I know many out there might be scared to do an engine bay detail, but there are no worries to be had if your car is less than 10 years old. Manufacturers already make engine bays waterproof and watertight as much as possible. But in this case, it's a fairly new vehicle. Everything's pretty much protected, so we're not going to overthink the moment. All right, so first step, we're gonna start with the hood as you always wanna work from the top to the bottom. So you're gonna take your degreaser and you're gonna spray it liberally all over. And you're gonna let the product dwell for a couple of minutes. I don't take care of the heat shield because you don't want to get this soaking wet as it might add a lot of weight to it and who knows what might happen so try to avoid this area. By the way, a quick tip, you always want to do your engine bay detail before you wash your car because if there's any overspray or stuff that goes onto the paint, you'll want to wash that off afterwards. Okay, so now we're going to start to brush all of this using our fender well brush. Again, guys, we're not looking for museum quality engine bay detail. We're looking to just improve the looks of this. This is a daily driver, so we're not going to go overboard. Just do a good job and it'll look a hundred times better. Okay, so it's time to rinse it off.
Okay, for the engine bay, we're gonna hose it off to remove the loose dirt and grime and dust. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my super clean degreaser and spray it on liberally. All right, we're gonna start brushing with a flag tip brush. Just get in there. All right, so before we go in closer, I always recommend that you guys wear some gloves, protective gloves, because we're dealing with chemicals. So now we're gonna use a shorter brush to go closer and more into detail. So we're gonna take a lug nut brush, put a bit of degreaser in there. And we can go more into detail. Some nice foaming action. Okay guys, we're now ready to rinse the engine bay off. Okay guys, so now that we've properly degreased and rinsed the engine bay, it's very important that we dry it off as quickly as possible. So you have two options, either use some microfiber towels to dry off the engine bay, or again, you can use these air dryers. So in this case, the Metrovac Air Force Blaster Sidekick, which I've also done a review on on my channel. So this is basically an air blower. You'll get into all the nooks and crannies and free your engine bay of any residual water, so that's super important. In my case, I'm gonna use its bigger brother, the Master Blaster Revolution. All right, so now that the engine bay is clean and dry, we're gonna add a detailer and protectant for plastic trims. So this one is the Chemical Guys Black on Black, but I'll link some recommendations in the description down below. So you essentially just spray it on. So don't be shy, spray it liberally on every part and component in the engine bay. This will give it that nicely detailed look. 
And when we're done, we're going to buff it off with a microfiber towel. So this will give not only a nice matte finish in the end, but will also give a bit of protection onto your plastic trims, prevent them from fading. Now you take your microfiber cloth or towel and you buff off to reveal a nice finish. And that's it guys, we have a nicely finished and detailed engine bay. Look how much cleaner this looks. Obviously again, I just want to remind you that we're not looking for a concourse or museum level engine detail. This is a daily driver, but we brought this from a very dirty and greasy engine bay to this nicely finished results. So again, it looks just a thousand times better. All right guys, so now for the moment of truth, we're going to start this baby up. So again, you saw how easy this was. It's not complicated when you have all the right tips and tricks. By the way, I'll leave all the links to the tools, equipment, and products that were used in this video. I'll drop them in the description down below for you guys to check them out. And again, I remind you, always do this in a garage or on a cloudy day, never under the sun. You start with the hood, so work your way from the top to the bottom. You spray your degreaser on liberally. You let it act and dwell for a couple of minutes. You then brush it off. You rinse it off. Same thing for the engine bay. You spray your degreaser liberally. You let it dwell for a couple of minutes. You use a couple of different brushes to get into all the nooks and crannies. You rinse it off using your garden hose, or if you want a pressure washer at a low setting. Once it's all properly rinsed off, you want to dry it off. So either with a microfiber towel or with the air blowers that I showed from Metrovac. And once all that's done, if you want to give it that nicely detailed touch, you're going to use a spray detailer to protect the trim and also give it a bit of a matte shine, so semi-gloss look. So it looks great and you guys will be able to do the same at home. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. As usual, if you liked it, smash the thumbs up button. Also, if you like my content, take a second and make sure that you click the subscribe button that's under this video. That way you'll subscribe to my channel and never miss my future videos. So guys, thanks for watching, thanks for being there. And in the meantime, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.